Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Excel. I'm going to show you how to add your IPTV playlist to your uh, TV Mate app. Um, in my opinion, the best app that you need for your IPTV. So before you start, make sure you download the TV Mate app from the Google Store, the official one. Um, make sure you have your data, your login, username, and password, and your host for. TV made for your IPTV provider. You might need to use M3U playlist, but you can extract those from the playlist yourself and use extreme codes because it's way easier to input it on a TV than downloading a file. So, first time you start, it should look like this. Nothing added, empty blank slate. Add a playlist and we'll go with extreme codes. Now, you need your server address, username, and password. My provider sent me those so I know what to input here. So I'll let me just quickly input my host. Make sure when you're inputting your host, it's HTTP. There's no HTTPS. HTTP, double dot, slash, slash, and then Username You won't be able to see it because I'll blur it because I don't want this account to be used. Well Doesn't matter actually because it's only a test account. So yeah Anyways, then we add our username 22 U P W H F Next password VH and that is it you can leave these if your uh, provider includes VOD that means series films movies whatever I click on next huh there's an error and error usually means I wrote something incorrectly somewhere 88 mv2 upvhf ah there's my error right in the username if i click next it should process and this will take a little while and then You'll have to click on done and that will also take a little while because it has to process how many channels, VODs, whatever you have. This is normal. This might take a while depending on your internet speed. But it should not take more than two to three minutes. All right, so I skipped a bit ahead and this is when the playlist is processed. Now it's telling you how many channels, movies, shows. And then you click on done and it's gonna process again. All right, so this is what's gonna appear the first time you open it. Obviously, it's going to open the list as the provider has it. So in case of this provider, it starts with some sport channels and whatever, so yeah, a lot of stuff. The list is huge. So, after you added your list, you might want to do a little bit of editing. Like, what do you need? What do you don't need? What do you want to throw out? Like, some people, like Portuguese channels, nobody needs Portuguese channels, so you'll throw those away. People edit their playlists by themselves um, using paid or less paid programs um, 
you want if you want to use the programs like IPTV boss and I don't remember what's the other one in m3u editor something like that so what you can do in TV made itself is press the middle button and it will show you this menu so as you see you need premium in order to do the channel sorting the group names and blah 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 and whatever so premium costs 33 something euros dollars whatever my advice to you buy the premium it is worth it so let me quickly unlock this with my premium account and I'll be right back all right so as you can see I just activated all the premium features okay and let me just get back here quickly you can see it even for some channels the EPG works correctly not for all if you want to add your own EPG uh, there's gonna be separate one for that so as you can see huge list we don't need stuff long press when you got the premium and then you can either block the group hide a group or do one better manage groups TV and then just start hiding stuff you don't need so for example I don't need these sport channels or just hide everyone and then just go through it one by one what do you want on your TV so it's a huge list it might take a while so the best thing is to hide everything and just scroll all the way down and go from top to bottom so I'm gonna make this easier since I'm in this region I'm gonna add these channels and that's it for me I don't need anything else this is my region ex Yugoslavia I'll just add that go all the way back I don't think I need to but I'll just go in case and you can leave this newly added groups because there might be some new groups added you might need it you might see it and might decide oh this is a new thing I want it I don't need it just leave it like that so let me go back the same you can do for movies and for shows but I'm gonna leave those as is because you can search later whatever whatever you need but the TV is the thing that you're gonna use so here I got now my channels added and again you're gonna look to yourself and think okay there's a lot of channels here that I don't need don't want like this one I don't need these like 24 kitchen okay they're sorted by name but what if I want to do my own sorting what if I don't want the channels that are here long press BAM you can record it you can make you can assign EPGs blah 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 this is all with premium account you need premium to do this so you just click on manage visibility and now you go all the way up and say I don't want this I don't want this you just scroll and press middle button I don't want the channel I'm in management mode I'm just looking what do I don't want I'm just gonna delete a couple of them that I don't need because I'm evaluating this uh, playlist um, yeah I don't want this Christian bullshit here so I'm just gonna do that these max crows uh, they 
sometimes don't work on other providers but I'm gonna leave it just in case so we're done we'll press back now that channel is gone now so let's say I want this max port to move because it's all the way down and I want it up reorder channels now I'm reordering it now I can move it up move it down you press the middle you deselect it you press it and you press middle select it down up and then you move it where you need it and then this way you can reorganize the whole list the way you want it and then when you're done you press back now you're not organizing anything now when you press on it it should start playing and you press another one to the middle full screens it if you press down channel back four oh two that's expected because the channel is probably dead so I know okay one of those I'll have to remove but now if we press to the right It's just scrolling the channels, okay, on the right. Okay, it's not configured, but you can configure that. Um, ah, there we go. It's just scrolling through this here, anyway. If you go under settings, and EPG and EPG sources you can add an EPG of your own so add your source connect it to the playlist and you should be fine so a thing about EPGs they won't the the ones that you can find on the internet like EPG for all or whatever they might not work correctly that's why you need to edit the M3U files by yourself. There's also paid services which will take your list and create your own EPG for it, like specifically for it. They'll organize it and blah, blah, blah. Those services cost, but if you want it nice and smooth, I mean, it's your choice. Anyway, this is how we would add it here, and this is how it works. So when it comes to remote control, you can choose what you want um, you can also go in the player and see what every other button does or rebind what every other button does but in short this is how you add a playlist and how you add that edit that playlist live while watching TV so if you see here the preview is a bit laggy because it's emulated Android TV, but on your TV it should work pretty smooth, or at least it should. But this playlist, as far as I'm concerned now, works, and it should work on your TV with your playlist. Um, some providers might send you their own APKs to download and install, but in my mind don't matter, just get this premium and it should work just fine anyways that is all if you have more questions feel free to comment and I'll try to answer when I can thanks for watching